yeah. All right, so sorry. So when we last talked, uh, we set up the session storage and we're gonna about to test it. So now the list will not be able to display. I will save this so you can look at it on your own. Uh, that's all a bunch of Nerf guns, sorry. Uh, my kid wants Nerf guns, okay? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is close the browser window. We know now that I'm not logged in. I'm actually going to enforce the situation by going to click run, uh, stopping it and running. No, no sessions are valid. Uh, now, ready? I'm going to go to local host 4200, and I'm going to go to list. I'm not even going to play around. As soon as I do that, it goes to things. And you're like, wait, what? Yeah. That's what actually happened. Let's do it again. You won't see it because it's going too quickly. Yes, uh, but I'm not logged in. So it's immediately going. Yes. Now I want to console. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to do user string and do, do, do on the student list components where's components nope this is student list right and i'm going to put an if statement actually i want that to be no spaces here space and user do, do, do. all right I'm sorry give me a second um do 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 I'm brain farting a little bit all right Oh yeah, I think I have to do this. Yes, bang, all right. So do, 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 and this should display the user. Yay, we'll come back later. This grabs the username, we'll come back later and do an admin thing for that user, but here we go. Yay, now you see that's a list of students for Mike. Yes, boom. Um, we can put admin in there if it's uh, an admin. Uh, we're just going to actually change the username differently. So if user's in there, admin should be in there. I could write oh no it's not contains it's includes stupid javascript all right so if it includes yes right if it includes yes oh that's what you do you put the little at then we're just going to set it to admin Right, or even better. Concatenate the two, yes? All right, let's go play. Oh, did I save that? I have no idea if I saved that. No, I did not. Okay, boom, I wanna just make sure it's working. All right, do, 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 do. let's go back to login. Now, lo oops, I'm going to log in as Ruth. Boop, we see it's a different set of students. Great, not very interesting on its own. Then we're going to go to, um, I'm sorry, I'm brain farting. Uh, we're going to go to login again. 
Yeah, I think it's me, Ruth. I don't remember. Oh, I think it's me, Ruth. Click and ooh, wait a second. So we need to double check some things. So um, the easiest way to do this is post it. Okay, you can see is admin did not work. And you go, what do you mean it did not work? I'll explain in a minute. Well, let's see why it didn't work. Do we have a login yet? There we go. So in the login, I don't remember. Huh. Status is okay, but is admin is false. Wait, is admin is supposed to be true, no? Okay, let me check user login just to make sure. Info. Ah, I'm sending real. I need to send real back. And only in the situation in which, ugh, only in the situation which it is authorized. Sorry, I did screw that up. All right. Fixing things after the fact is so much fun. Not really, but it is what it is. Welcome to being a programmer. All right. So now we're going to go back to login. Okay. And now we're going to go and check Mike. Mike, not an admin, so not a big deal. It was never checking it anyway properly. It is admin. You see it's uppercase. I don't know if that's going to matter. But you see it is uppercase. So let's see. So now we're going to go, um, shoot, what did I say? Yeah, it's still logged in. And then we're going to log in as me, Ruth. Me, Ruth. Still no admin. I think it's because, oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm not checking. Hold on. Nope, I want the developer tools. Why'd you close it? All right, let's go back to logins. Okay, we're at login. Yes, okay. So it's coming in as uppercase is as meant. You see that? And so when the object comes in is, uh, what you call it? It is not saving it. So so we go back to the login. Yes. Uh, I'm not joking. Simple name change should be more than sufficient. They have to match up exactly, otherwise they don't work. All right, this might seem stupid, but I always do it. So uh, whenever I'm doing login stuff, I always go uh, from admin to not an admin to back to an admin. Um, I do that to make sure that I'm clearing out the admin stuff. And now it works like it should because it's now being passed and grabbed, okay? And now you can see it's an admin. Now, because I have the admin field, I can do whatever I want. Now, there really isn't anything to do. Now you click add a student, as you can see, there's nothing to add, right? Except for when we go to advisor. Remember, this does not, our student object at this point does not actually have an advisor attached to it yet. So we actually have to clean that up, okay? We go to the detail, there's no advisor. When we go to the edit, there's no advisor. But pretty quickly, you're only going to see the advisor when you are an admin. If you're listing, if you're looking at an individual student's detail and your mic, as an example, the only way you can look at this is if the advisor is mic. So you don't need to see the advisor. But, and obviously edit, you can't edit the advisor. So, but the admin can do all these things. So the admin does need to see the advisor for the student. The admin needs to be able to add the admin. 
Yes. And we're going to actually set this so that it automatically adds an admin um, when we do the ad. And then when we do edit, um, we're going to leave edit. Uh, it'll automatically have the admin once we, well, it'll automatically have the uh, advisor once it, we go get it, um, once we fix that. Uh, so we don't have to do anything with that. And it will automatically do that for the uh, for the uh, regular advisors. For the admin, we're going to actually have a uh, we're going to actually have a way to go get. Um, we're going we're going to leave a field for you to add uh, the actual advisors. Pretty simple. Um, is there anything else that we need to change? No, not really. Okay, delete. It all works the way we're supposed to work. If I can see it, I can delete it. And that should work. The app should be able to handle all that. Search, the same basic premise. Um, so the really only thing is the two forms uh, needs to be modified and the detail needs to be modified. Uh, and we're going to do that, obviously. Um, all right. So one thing that's going to be, oh, there's another thing uh, we, talk, we need to talk about. So we did this through... We did the student list component and we did it through the ng init. There's a better way to do it. We're gonna fix that um, as well. So we have some application authorization to do as well as uh, set up mechanisms to prevent certain things from being visible. So we'll do that now. All right, uh, thank you. I'm gonna stop the recording and come back.